Hello everybody and welcome back to Left Alone. Thank you very much for your support on the first part. Because of that, you're seeing a part two. Now here we go. Let's enter Mount High Boarding School and see if we can find our friends. Who uh, are probably drenched, considering there wasn't a bridge to cross. They probably swam across to get here. Oh really? I fell into the same trap, now I'm trapped here as well. There must be a button, right? I mean, the power is on. I thought this might be like a guard station or something. Maybe the button's in here. Uh, okay, that's cool. Nothing in the filing cabinets to find. There is a reporter's note, though. So he made it inside. Oddly enough, the power seemed to be on to the school. Very strange indeed. I managed to find the button to open the main school gate. This place is really weird. Eerie. Hard to think that this was a fully functioning boarding school. The main entrance was locked, but I found a set of keys in the security porter cabin. I guess these might open that side door. It seems a bit too easy, this. It's probably just psychological, but I could swear someone is following me. It'll be that janitor. <laughs> it might. It actually might. A lot of people are speculating that I could be that janitor. I'm- Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, wait, 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 whoa, fuck. <sighs> that was creepy. Really did sound like there was someone on top then. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, people were speculating that I could be the janitor. I don't think that's the case. I don't think it really lines up with the, the backstory that we're presented with at the beginning of the game. But I suppose it is possible. Well, I don't think there's any button here. Nothing else I can use. Like the uh, filing cabinets. Can't search anywhere else. So, there's no button to get out. Really? That doesn't make a damn bit of sense. There's a lot of things that don't really make too much sense in this game if you really think about them. I think you've got to sort of avoid, avoid critical thinking to get through this game and have a blast. If you think about it too much, it's, you know, the flaws will sort of present themselves. Like, this school bus. The engine's still going, after all this time. Although, to be fair, I don't know exactly when the school did close down, and maybe someone just got it up and running now. Can we go inside? No? Guess not, alright. By the way, as I've just recently learned, as I, I, I made a horrifying discovery, the game doesn't save all that often. In fact, uh, I had to replay what I did in the first part again from when I woke up at the tents because of that. And there is no way to sort of like save the game when you want, so you really do have to pay attention to when it says saving in the bottom left. But here we go. This is Mount High Boarding School. This is where my friends should be. It's pretty dark inside and it looks huge. Let's see if we can go in. No. Uh, no. No luck at all. Not even telling me it's locked. Um, didn't the reporter mention something about a side entrance? Let's look for a side entrance. Over here somewhere? No. I don't think so. Is there a flashlight in here or something? Oh, I see. It's the, uh, it's the light on the floor. Very nice. How many batteries do I have right now? I've got four. Yes. The good thing about going through the first part of the game again, though, was the fact that I I didn't mess around. I knew exactly where the batteries were. Uh, I knew where the, the map piece was, for instance. So I didn't have to sort of mess around wasting light like I'm doing now, just wandering around in the dark. All right. So here we go. Other side of the building. Uh, no side entrance here. There is a gate open, though. Perhaps this is how the reporter got in. Maybe this is how my friends got in. Hopscotch, anyone? I don't know, like, what years this boarding school is for, but actually, you know what, judging from what I'm seeing, pretty young. I don't know, maybe it's from, like, 4 to 16 or something. Might be a, a sort of wide range. Is this it? it? Looks like a door to me. Enter school! There we go! Hey! We're in. And we have another text message, okay. I'm inside, where are you guys? We're using the light from our phone and the battery is almost dead. We found some paint in one of the classrooms and have painted arrows leading to where we are. Why? <laughs> why? Why, didn't you just, why don't you just meet me here? Are you trapped somewhere? Okay, the door locked on us? Do you mean, if the door locked on you, how did you get out and 
whatever. I'm not going to think too much about this game because, again, like I just said, it doesn't make too much sense. But whoever is around here who you think might be after you is just going to follow the arrows and find you, like I am, right? Never mind. Anyway, search for your friends. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Oh, thankfully, it saves. <laughs> okay. Um, maths room? Mr. Hopkinson. Oh, we can go in. Okay. Well, we've got the power back up and running, so I uh, don't really need my flashlight here. Let's see. What we got? Let's have a look at the desk to start with. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Question mark. It's a computer. It's a Leoware monitor. Um, I'm as in the dark as you are, question mark. What, what am I confused about? What do I need to do? I guess I need to do something with the computer, but I'm not really sure what it is yet. Okay, yeah, date 1110. Fair enough. But, oh, battery's acquired, apparently. Cool. Don't know where from. Just the shelves in general? Don't know. It was a nice little find, anyway. More filing cabinets. Nothing found. Right, okay, okay. Um, what about the bookshelves back here? Can we search them? No? I don't know if I was looking at something specific on there, but that was a nice little find, I suppose. Uh, I think items in this game are going to be really, really hard to see, if you know what I mean. They're not going to be sort of glowing in the dark all the time. Things I can examine and things I can search aren't really going to make themselves that obvious, but hey, here we go. We found something. It's a uh, it's a teacher report for Sam Hawks, and he says who even needs to use maths in the real world? It's boring as hell. There are calculators for a reason. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to read all of this. I'm just going to sort of briefly skim it. What? Again, something else that doesn't make any sense. He's on report for his behaviour in all of classes, but yet, look at his behaviour score in the bottom right. It's four. Maybe four's bad. Maybe one is where he needs to be. I don't know. It, yeah, it might be reversed. I thought four would be, like, top marks. Maybe it's one. Uh, but there you go. Okay, so that's uh, that's Sam Hawks. Perhaps he's the one that that's around here stalking my friends. Don't know. Have we got anything else? Had a look at the shelves. Sure, something. I need to do something with this computer, but I don't know what. There's nothing in the top drawer or anything. Had a look at that. Right. Okay. Let's um. Let's continue to explore and have a look at the rest of the classrooms. I suppose. There's a candle lit over there. Did one of my friends do that? Can I use that filing cabinet at all? No, it's open, but I can't. Weird. What the fuck? There's like an inscription. Sort of. There's an impression in the wax. What we got here anyway? Toilets, apparently. Okay. Uh, men and women's, apparently, in, in one. That's fine. Let's see. What have we got here? What is that? Oh, okay! That's confirmed it then. The reporter made it in this far. I don't think I'm the first person to visit since the killings. There are signs of vandalism, graffiti on the walls everywhere. Classrooms trashed, damaged ceilings. It seems as if they couldn't be bothered locking down the school properly. My best bet is to see if I can get into the security room. Maybe they left the videotapes in. That would be epic evidence for my story. Epic, yes. Uh, the rumours are that the killings actually happened here in the school and the police tried to cover it up by saying the kids went missing. Then they deliberately created a toxic waste spill, so the school had to be evacuated with immediate effect. Good job. Oh, nice little cover-up then. Conspiracy theorist reporter. Okay, security room. There's a security room. I suppose we need to keep an eye out for that. That would probably, um, probably be a good place to go. No one in there. Or in there. Always good to know. Can I use the toilets at all? No, nothing in there. Or Oh, I can use the toilets. <laughs> Fair enough. Nothing in there. No, no keys or anything. Um, what about these cupboards? Nothing. I found some batteries. That's nice. So I, I think I can only search the ones that are closed. Doesn't really make much sense, but okay, I, I get it. I get it. So that is the, uh, that's the toilets for you, I suppose. Let's continue. I suppose I should really be following the arrow, right? I should be, I should be finding my friends as soon as possible. But, you know, in a way, Sodom, they got themselves into this trouble. I just want to explore. Oh, Jesus! 
Uh, Mr. Macintosh? Oh, fuck. I didn't think that would be possible, to be honest. I thought that was going to be locked or something. Are you in here, Mr. Macintosh? Would they do this for you? No one's in here. Would they do this for you? Who? That message. I, I, I feel that it's for me and me alone. Do you mean my friends? You know what? I'm going to close the door. Fuck it. <laughs> I feel a little bit better now. Huh. All right. Um... Uh, again, uh, another room. It's got its lights on, so I don't really need to use the flashlight battery. Let's have a look on the shelves. Nothing found on these shelves. What about the filing cabinet? Nothing, nothing, okay. Let's see. Please sit down quietly and begin the assessment on your desk. The second part of this lesson will be your favourite. Algebra! <laughs> Enjoy your double lesson. Right. Ooh! Another teacher report for uh, Chris Steeler this time. I have enjoyed my time at school, but I find it difficult to make new friends because people don't seem to enjoy my enthusiasm for entertainment and sports. I hope to get better grades next year, particularly in English, I would assume. So again, I'm just going to skim through this. Okay. <laughs> Head of the year comment. Again! The more you think about this game, the less it makes sense, honestly. Uh, he's usually very polite, apparently, but he has a strong case of anger management tendencies. But yet again, he seems to be getting top marks in behaviour. Uh, you know, again, it, it could be could be four is bad and one is good. But that doesn't make too much sense to me. Oh well, okay. Nothing in the top drawer or anything. Can I use the... You don't have a computer? You actually don't have a computer, you just got a monitor. How does that work? You've been faking it all this time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. Can't use that, apparently. Uh, anything else? Uh, I'm not seeing anything else, to be honest. Alright, I'm going to need another battery, I think. Oh, there we are. Much better. Let's go out. Let's see. So that was that. Uh, oh, there is a door this side, but it's blocked up. Right, okay. Let's see, then. Um, this way, is it? Or, no, no, I'm just going back on myself. I'm going to get lost in this place, I know it. Yeah, there's a lot of graffiti, isn't there? This graffiti is like it was put in by the school themselves. English room's this way, apparently. This must be the maths section. Let's try, uh, yeah, let's try Mr. Rukas's room. Oh, that's locked. Alright. What about this one? Locked as well. But the arrows lead this way. And to the right, apparently. Okay. Catch our brows? It's a dog with glasses. What the fuck? What? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, they're that way, so I'm going to go this way. Because Sodom. What have we got here? Storeroom. Okay. Ah, oh, it's another keypad. Okay, what are we looking for? It's another four-digit code. And it's knocked 6,666, so there's uh, 9,999 options to go. What about over here? Computer lab, Mr. Cahill. There we go. <laughs> I swear that door was shaking as it opened. More nervous than I am. Okay, no lights in here, unfortunately. Even though the power is on. Is there a light switch around here? Uh, no, no there isn't, apparently. Alright, let's go with the, um, let's go with the flashlight. Let's see. Nothing found on the shelves. Filing cabinets over there? They always seem to be in the same place. Batteries acquired. Okay, cool. So I've got six now. That's not bad, is it? And you? You're not faking it. You actually do have a computer. But I can't use it. Nothing there. Okay. Might, might have been a waste of a battery, really. There's probably nothing here. There's loads and loads of computers. Can't use any of them, though. Anything on the bookshelves? No. Not even a teacher's report, really? Nothing? Nothing. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So that's that. Ah, and we're at a dead end. So we're blocked off from going to the fire exit. That makes sense, doesn't it? Locker. Oh, we can actually search the locker! No, we can't. Or maybe we can, but we need a crowbar first. Right, so that's what we're looking for. Our friends and a crowbar. Sod's Law says the crowbar is going to be in the storeroom, right? Okay. 
Okay, so around here somewhere. We've got some more rooms here. Science lab. Mrs. Andrew. No, she's not available right now. What about Mr. Winrow? Mr. Winrow, no problem. Okay. What does that say? He still runs these halls. Get out while you still can. The fuck? <laughs> That's another one of those rooms where I'm going to lock myself in. I don't know if there is uh, a spooky janitor roaming around this place, but just in case. Nothing found. <laughs> Filing cabinets. Oh, batteries! Finally. Brilliant. Okay. Anything in here? No. Again, you're faking it. I guess the school didn't have the budget to give all these teachers all these computers, so some had to go without. Ah, what's this? I knew something fishy was going on. Why would he want to meet me here? I hadn't spoke to him for ages. Then out of the blue, let's meet in a forest. Should have known. Wait, it should have known, really. I know it sounds the same, but let's be grammatically correct, shall we? Maybe Dave found out about my affair with Michelle. Was that him dressed in that long coat? Good job. I'm a military man. He came up behind me, but I was able to disarm him. I tried to restrain him, but he got away. He cut me pretty bad. I'm going to find him and end this once and for all. He acts so innocent, but he's a control freak. She didn't love him anyway, and that's Dan S. Okay. Let's meet in a forest, alright. That's not my friend or anything, is it? No, that wouldn't make any sense. But it's not one of the kids, either. One of the teachers who came back? Uh, I don't know, let's meet in a forest. Might be unrelated. Uh, okay. Okay, are we done here? Because I think we might be done here, and I, I don't want to waste all my flashlight batteries in this one room if there's nothing to see. So, let's head out. Let's head out and... Uh, let's go this way, I suppose, if uh, Mrs. Andrew is not available. It's pretty cool. It's, it is creepy, though. Ah, oh, the security room! Here we go! Oh, another keypad. Again, are we looking for a... Yeah. Six-digit code. Alright, we will be back. We definitely will be back. But let's see. Mr. Sterling. Oh, his room's locked as well. Never mind. What about these lockers? Can we have a look? Some of them are look, are look like a jar. No, just, just the big one. Just the big one at the end. Oh god. Shit. Someone's around here. That's a little creepy. Now I'm a lot more nervous. <laughs> Is there someone in here? I'll never know. I'll never know. What about this side? What is this stuff? It's like, it's palestin or something. Is that oil? Or grease, maybe? I'm not even sure what that is. Very odd. Anyway, we, we need to go this way, uh, apparently. Gymnasium. And then we need to go left. So, again, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go right. Where we need to queue here. For what? The gym, I guess? Yeah, okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, actually. I kind of want to move ahead with speed because, you know, I don't know when these batteries are going to run out, but... At the same time, I don't want to run into a creepy janitor who's going to end up killing me, so... Art room? Oh, there you go, the art room is uh, is open. And again, lights, so I can turn this off for a bit. Right, brilliant. What does that say? Mr. Grant is off sick today. The class will be taken by Mr. Tyler, the janitor. That does look familiar, doesn't it? We saw, I think, that exact painting in his little cabin outside. Christ almighty. Right, let's see. Hey, you're not faking it. You actually do have... A uh, computer. That's good. Right, anything? Oh, oh shit, there is something here! A computer room key! Fucking hell. A computer room. We just passed that, didn't we? What about the filing cabinets? Nothing found? No? Shelves? Batteries. Brilliant. Okay. Anything here? Any teacher's reports? Any weird, strange notes about meeting in a forest? No? No. Alright. We have a storeroom here. Ah, oh, this one doesn't need a, a, a key code or anything. More of this oil, and what's going on with this? Uh, again. I don't really know what the question mark means. Perhaps I need to come back with an item, or more knowledge with what to do in this situation. <laughs> and batteries acquired. Okay, brilliant. 
Nothing found over there? <laughs> More? Yeah, okay. There doesn't really appear to be much of a range limit to uh, where you can examine things from, you know? Maybe it's like my uh, my telescopic eye. Wait, what am I using here? There's nothing. I can use the ladder, I think. No? Oh no, it's glitched out on me. I can use everything. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, this is a bit weird. Okay, weird. Very, very weird. Uh, which way are we going? This way? Honestly, I'm getting confused. Stairs are this way. We haven't seen stairs, have we? Kindergarten. No, we didn't come through the kindergarten. Whoa! Ooh, hell. Is there something in that bin? Shit. Alright. I don't know where that came from, but it was pretty spooky. Okay. Uh, A? A block? A stairs? Are open! Okay, do we want to go upstairs? I don't know if we do, to be honest. More interesting artwork. Let's just take a, a quick look. Yep. Oh, okay! Uh, I don't think we can go upstairs, it's all blocked off anyway. What's that? Looks like a, uh, a scanner? A reader of some sort? Filing cabinet? No. Obviously, can't get to the door right now. Can't drag all this away. Uh, I was thinking maybe that's where my friends sort of barricaded themselves in, but no. Because we didn't follow the arrows, did we? And again, with the lockers. We definitely need a crowbar. We need to get that storeroom open. Alright. Right, let's actually follow the arrows. I really should be making more of an effort to find my friends before they do die a horrible, grisly death. Alright, is that Q here? Okay. Gymnasium, right. What's up with the gym anyway? Oh, the door is locked! Sort of. It's uh, it's not padlocked, but got a chain across it. Right. Another room over here. Another art room, all blocked off. Uh, and the B stairs. Okay. Again, unlocked. Can we go upstairs this time? Oh yes, we can! I, I think, anyway. No. No, we need a key card. Where the hell would I find a key card? Security room, maybe? Don't know. Don't know. But yeah, I think what we need to do is go and find that computer room and uh, and get into there. Ooh. Okay, it's not a reporter's note or anything. It's another teacher's report. Brian Drillage, this time, for science. Science is okay, I guess. Reading from the books bores me. It's kind of fun when we do practicals and things like when we dissected a frog, but Ryan was pissing me off, so I threw the guts at him. <laughs> I, uh, I had a similar situation like that in secondary school. It was hilarious. Ooh. Hurling abuse at the janitor. I don't think any of these reports are really that important, or at least they don't seem to be right now. They're mainly just fluff to give you some sort of backstory and exposition, but it's pretty cool reading them. There do seem to be a few sort of pupils that maybe didn't like this place all that much. Maybe wanted to come back here and raise some hell. Maybe that's what they're doing. They're all in on it, maybe. Anyway. This... This is barely even a flashlight right now. There we go. Five batteries left. Now the computer room. Where was it? It wasn't too far away. Uh... I think it was this way? Somewhere? One of these, maybe? Security room? Computer lab. That's it! I love that sound! And again, there's lights. Let's see what we've got on the shelves. Nothing found. Filing cabinet? Batteries acquired. Thank you very much. Nothing in the top drawer? Okay, at least you do have a computer. Running a computer class, that makes sense, I suppose. Alright, let's check the desks. What have we got? Anything? Come on, there's gotta be something to find. Nothing on the bookshelves or anything. Ooh. Oh, the star. Do they all work? I think they do. They do. What does this mean? Let's see what we got. We got a star, a triangle, a circle, and uh, that. That. Oh. I see. We have been seeing different symbols on the whiteboards of all these different classrooms. I haven't really been paying attention to them, though. And there's four of them. 
I have turned every single monitor on, right? Yeah. Right. So, I'm just going to write this down. So we got a star. Then it moves on to a triangle. Then a circle. And whatever that symbol is there. <laughs> Don't exactly know what you'd call that. But that's, um... Mr. Mr. Sterling, is, I guess? Mr. Sterling, yeah. Or is it... Oh, is it... Maybe it could be the number. Maybe it's not the teacher's name. Maybe it's the number. Hang on, there's four symbols for four digits to make a code. That could be it, you know. So I'm going to write everything down, basically. So, okay, that, that symbol right at the end is a seven, and that's Mr. Sterling. Okay, so we've got to go find ourselves a star, a triangle, and a circle. I think I've seen them all. I think I've seen them all before. Just give me a moment. I'm going to have to backtrack a bit. Mr. Winrow? Right, Mr. Winrow. Mr. Winrow is the circle. And he is... Six. Okay. So it's... If this is a code, it's blank blank six seven. I'm assuming this is going to be the code for the security room or the storeroom. Okay, now let's go find the other two. Found the triangle. The triangle is Mr. Cahill. And that is four. Okay, so we are just looking for the star now. And I think that was one of the first rooms I saw. So I think it's back here somewhere. Is it in here, Mr. Macintosh? That's it, that's it, that's the star, Mr. Macintosh. And what number is that? That's two. Okay. So, Mr. Macintosh, we've got Macintosh, Cowhill, uh, Winrow, and Mr. Sterling. Two, four, six, seven. I don't, I don't think writing the teachers down served any purpose, but we do have that four digit code, I think, for something. So, um, the storeroom or the security room? Where, where's it going to be? Let's try. Oh, I think the storeroom's a little bit closer. I think it's over here, isn't it? There it is. Yeah, I'm finally figuring my way around. So, the storeroom. Let's see. No, it's not 6666. It could be 2467. Then again, maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Or it, it could be for the security room, not the storeroom. I don't know. So, the security room, that's over here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, it's to the left, over here, maybe. There it is, there it is, okay. What's that? I need a crowbar for that. I... Fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually be able to use something like that, but there we go. Uh, let's see. Two, four, six, seven. And it works, that's fantastic. Okay. Right, so, uh, welcome. Welcome to the security room. Where I need a crowbar again. Alright. Batteries on the shelf. What have we got over here? School lights. Okay. Um, so the school lights are working all over the place in all of these zones. Ground floor, upper floor. Well, there's more than two floors, judging from what I've seen from the outside, wasn't there? There's more than two floors, definitely. What's this here? Hang on. What's this here? Pick up memory stick. Ooh. Okay, I can't actually pick this up, but it says the ventilation system in Zone 4 is currently broken. A call-out has been made, but the electrician cannot get out until Monday. So that's uh, the dining room and dorms area uh, at the top of stairs B that we haven't been to yet. Okay. But a memory stick. Okay. Um, power management. That looks fine, I suppose. Hang on. Another reporter note. So he got this far. Right. And he, I guess, locked up the door behind him. I managed to find the code to the security room. It was written in a notebook. Must have been one of the security team members. I sat through what felt like hours of videotapes, but I found something. The janitor had taken two students down into the laundry room. I knew there was something about that room. He had one of them tied up, then made him watch as he beat the other with some sort of weapon. It was extremely hard to watch, but it's good evidence for my story. I can see it now. Police cover-up. Beatings and torture took place in school hours right under the nose of the head teacher. Strong but effective, I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, can I take a look at these tapes by any chance? Or maybe that's what's on the, um, the stick. Why the hell did I just do that? Of course that was gonna happen! Well, fuck. If there is someone around here who knows exactly where I am. Never mind. 
Right. Yeah, no. Uh, what do I do with the memory stick, then? <gasps> oh, shit! I think I know what to do. I know what to do with the memory stick. It's that computer that had the question mark on the keyboard. That was... That was right near the beginning, though, I think. So that was over here somewhere. I should mention, you know, in between all these edits, the game hasn't saved at all yet. That's new. That's definitely new. What the fuck? Have you got what it takes? <laughs> I like this, you know. The floors are everywhere, but I like it. That's pretty much confirmed it to me. I am not the janitor. The janitor is here. And he's, he's going to try and fuck me up, and probably my friends too. Uh, is it here? Is this the computer? No. No, you don't even have a computer. It's got to be back there, or I'm hearing all this noise. That makes sense, doesn't it? Was it the first room I actually went into? The first classroom? The one here? Mr. Hopkinson's with the diamond. Yes. There we go. Okay, so was it video footage, or how do we turn the monitor on? Uh, what's going on? Oh, oh, right, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, it's, <laughs> that's what I could hear. I thought it was the computer turning on. Overhead projector. Oh, let's see. Please be advised that the code for the storeroom has been changed due to an incident in which some students had an altercation with the janitor. The students managed to obtain the code and locked in uh, locked a student in with the janitor, which then led to allegations and an investigation. The matter has now been dealt with. The new code is 3129. Many thanks, security staff. 3129. Okay, 3129. That's, that's for the storeroom. Okay. We're making progress, but yeah. The game hasn't saved quite yet. I'm hoping it's going to save pretty soon so I can sort of end the video because I've been playing for like half an hour now. Maybe even more. Uh, storeroom. It's to the left. It is. So 3129. Let's do this. 3129. Haha! <laughs> it bloody worked. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Nothing found there. Batteries over there. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, alright. Creepy. Alright. Against my better judgement, I'm actually going to end this video here. Hopefully, even if it didn't save, I can just come back to this room and use the same code to get this far in. But, uh, thank you very much for watching part 2 of Left Alone, and I hope to see you back in part 3, where we explore the rest of the storeroom. See you then. It actually might. A lot of people are speculating that I could be that janitor. I'm- Whoa! We found some paint in one of the classrooms and have painted arrows leading to where we are. Why? Oh, Jesus! Kindergarten. No, we didn't come through the kindergarten. Oh! Oh, hell. Why the hell did I just do that?